Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 7 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about Drop Zone JS file upload. Let's see how we can upload a file using Drop Zone JS. So, first of all, create a controller. So, switch to the command prompt and here uh, stop the running application. So, just press Ctrl plus C and then just write here a command for creating the controller php artisan make fallen controller ok then a space controller name let's say controller name is drop soon controller alright now press enter Okay, controller uh, created successfully. Now uh, rerun the project. So just type here php artisan serve. Okay. Alright. Now go to the project and just open drop zone controller. So go inside the app folder, then HTTP, then controllers, and just open drop zone controller. Okay. And here, just create a function, public function and function name. Let's say function name is drop zone. And simply return here a view. Let's say view name is drop zone. All right. Now let's create this view inside the views folder. So just go inside the resources folder and uh, views and inside the views directory just create a new file dropzone.blade.php ok now just open this file and here first of all write uh, html5 boilerplate so just press uh, just write here exclamation sign and press tab now change the title here so just write here title drop zone js upload file upload okay all right now just add here the bootstrap for cdn so switch to the browser and just open new tab and here get bootstrap.com just click on get started now from here just uh, copy the css and paste here all right now copy the js cdn and paste here just before the closing body tag ok now save the file one more thing uh, just go to the google and uh, here search drop zone uh, js cdn ok just open this link and from here uh, just copy this drop zone dot mean dot js so just click on this and this is js file so just paste here all right now copy the css drop zone dot mean dot css and paste here All right. Now just create here uh, a form. So just simply add here section. Uh, give some padding here. So just write here a style. Padding top. It's a 90 pixel. Okay, now add here the 
container so just write here dot container this tab dot row dot column md 12 okay now here just add here the form so just write here form uh, then method method is post then accept care set which is utf dash 8 okay and ink type multi part form data and add here the class drop drop zone space dz space clickable all right and also add here the id id image dash upload all right now add here the csrf at the rate csrf okay now just add here the div and h3 tag upload multiple images by click on box okay now one more div and uh, just set here the class digit the space and dash default digit dash message okay and add here the span tag okay and simply write here a message drop files here to upload okay now save the file now go to the drop zone controller and uh, here just add one more function public function drop zone store okay and just write here the image and also pass here the request request dollar request now image equal to dollar request file and just pass here the input field file names so just write here file dollar image name is equal to time concatenation dot concatenate with dollar image arrow extension okay dollar image arrow move public path and inside this public path just pass here the folder name let's say folder name is images and just right here this one image name okay and simply return here return response uh, response in JSN so just write your JSN and pass here an array success and write here the image name okay all right now just create routes for these methods okay so go to the routes folder uh, routes then web.php and here just create route 
so just write here route get uh, drop zone slash drop zone okay slash drop zone drop zone controller at the rate uh, method name which is drop zone so just copy and paste here one more route so just write here route post drop zone drop zone controller at the rate this one okay drop zone is tool also give here the name route name so just write your name uh, drop zone dot store all right now just copy this route name and uh, go to the drop zone dot blade dot php file and here just add the action action is equal to double country packet route and just paste here drop zone dot store all right now make some configuration here for the drop zone so just write here okay and uh, inside the script just write here drop zone dot options dot image upload is equal to color bracket and here set some option uh, let's say max file size max file size uh, 1 MB and accept accept files give here the some uh, image extension and let's say dot zpg dot zpg dot png and dot zif okay All right, all set. Now save the file. One more thing. Let's create uh, this image folder, images folder inside the public folder. So switch to the project folder directory and here just open public folder and uh, here just create a new folder, new folder and right here images okay now let's run so switch to the browser and here just write drop zone press enter okay drop zone controller does not exist a spelling mistake okay controller name is spelling mistake drop zone so just rename this and add here e okay now let's try again so drop zone controller okay also change here drop zone controller now save the file and refresh the page okay now it's working now drag some images uh, over this area so just move one side and minimize this
and here are some images i am going to drag this one and drop here you can see here image up uploaded okay and let's check so switch to the project directory public folder and then open images and you can see here the image okay try one more image so this image just drag and drop here okay load it let's check inside the folder and you can see here the image okay so in this way you can upload file using dropzone js in laravel 7 so that's all about dropzone js file upload so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching